But today, me. I mean, today, if you go to places like Sedona or right. all the people that you interview, yeah. I mean, <laughs> there is a lot of so-called channeling, right? Exactly. And so what are people channeling? They're channeling something from, we would say, the matrix. Mm -hmm. The, the, the non-local consciousness. The non-local consciousness, which is a confluence of probability clouds with mm -hmm. thought forms and embodies histories Mm. of collective experience, collective karma, mm. uh, collective revelation. Mm. So, you know, in these days, mm. we know about it a lot mm -hmm. more than yeah. we did then. Uh, a human nervous system, when it's in a state of innocence and purity, um, can do that, obviously. They, I think the time has come to yeah. get over our psychosis and stop trying to solve a problem at the level of consciousness at which it was created. <laughs> that's right. Because that's what you keep doing over and over and over again. So and what's say what? the problem? The problem is war, this my land, this your land, and how do we get to the next level? You know, if, you, uh, if you've done any work with uh, Don Beck and Spiral Dynamics, right. you're familiar with that, yes, right? Yes, yes. That's where you have to go. You have to say, what level of consciousness is this mm. conflict arising at? Mm. What level of consciousness do we move up to? And when you move up to a new level of consciousness, there's diminution of the tension that arose from the last level of consciousness. Mm -hmm. So, you know, instead of saying Arabs and Jews, let's say Semites. Mm -hmm. Okay, they're both Semites, right? Right. Let's say cousins. Let's say uh, same father. Mm -hmm. Let's see the universal principles that actually unite them and then move up to another level and another level. Because ultimately, Alan, we've all got to transcend our national, our racial, gotcha. our ethnic uh, boundaries. You know, as long as you think of yourself as a Jew and I think of myself as a Muslim, <laughs> we have a problem. Right. So you are a really, uh, I think, great spokesman for this non-local awareness identity yes. am i a citizen of my tribe mm -hmm. am i a citizen of my nation am i a citizen of this planet mm -hmm. or am i a cosmic citizen mm -hmm. you know I, I need to aham brahmasmi i need to get to that level where i can see that i'm a citizen of the cosmos that's the level we have to pull the whole planet to. how do we know when God is speaking through us, or maybe it is all the time. You are inspired. There's no going back. It's like a child that is born, uh, cannot return to the womb. Mm. And you not only change yourself, you transform other people, and you move in the direction of truth, goodness, beauty, harmony, evolution, love, compassion, kindness, joy, equanimity, peace of mind. So tell me, how are you doing that in your life? Personally, what goes oh, on for you? Oh, it's my life. I mean, I spend two, three hours every day in meditation. I meditate sometimes through the night. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I, I um, visit these uh, people in my consciousness. I'm now going to do a book called how, When God Spoke, not the one with uh, Malad Noy, uh -huh. uh, who's Stephen Hawking's right. co-author. That's a science book. Right. But I'm doing a book about When God Spoke. So I'm looking at every saint in the Western and mm. Eastern tradition from St. John of the Cross, mm. so St. Teresa of Avila, yeah. Catherine of mm. Genoa, right. Lao Tzu. I'm going to visit their consciousness and speak through them. Well, even Amma, Amma um, Chi, sure. do you, do you, have you met yeah, her? I've I mean, had very good experience. There's divine consciousness, yeah. and, but actually through every artist, yeah. there's a divine There's a particular frequency domain of the divine, sure. There is, actually, through everything we say, like, where is the divine not speaking, right. is what Rumi would say, right? There's nothing other than God.